morning everybody, how are we all doing? It is da, 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 Thursday and you got me in the car. I actually nearly passed out today. Not like in a bad way, illness way, or just in disbelief and shock. I finally got a doctor's appointment. How long have I been trying to get into the doctor's? And I rang up at 8 o'clock. Boom. You're in ten, you're tenth in the queue. I said, Blimey, I'm sorry, everyone at eight o'clock, how am I never there's a tenth in queue? Is someone on Google phones or something? So he goes, save your time, why don't you go online? Well, I have been doing for the God knows how long, but obviously the systems must have been down. So I managed to rattle it all off on the page that my um, doctors use. And I said, I need to have a face-to-face -face because a face-to-face -face, face -face consultation because it's the only way I can describe it. I can't do it online and over the phone because you don't see, I think, face-to-face, -face, seeing a doctor or like mental health nurses, you do it over the phone, they, don't, they can't tell, can you? If you see your face-to-face, -face, they can see your expressions and... <laughs> yes. But, um, yeah, let's see how this goes. Uh, Olivia slept out last night, so, like, finally managed to get settled. Took me a while to get to sleep. But I woke up at 7.38, and I remember, I was like, is it time to drink doctor's yet? Uh, and I didn't even need an alarm, and I'm like, in a way, I'm like, oh, I know I need to see the doctors, but in a way, well, I was just hoping for a lie-in, but me, me headache and my eyes were like, no, you're awake, get up, have a brew. So yeah, I've been finding different ways to, what's it with you? So I don't have caffeine, I, I've gone to decaf, cup of tea and I've cut down my tea as well. Um, I forgot what I was going to say, brain fog. <laughs> God, I'm so tired as well. I'm just in shock that I'm actually at the doctor's. I know you're all going to go, oh, God, here we go again. But if you know it is a pain in the backside, I tell you to ring at 8 o'clock in the morning when you do, and then when you finally get through, all appointments gone. So I'm thankful that I've got this appointment, and hopefully now I can go on back on the website and be able to do that it, that way because I'm not great on phones. I, I trip over myself. I get bored on phone calls. So if someone rings me, I'm like, ooh, I'm not on to that. And you can hang up. <laughs> I, I'm a texter. I prefer if my phone goes, I'm oh, oh, flipping it. Especially when I'm in the middle of a, either a video or I'm doing a puzzle on my phone and phone rings. I'm like, you know, if it's someone or not, fair enough. But even then, I get bored. Oh, I'll just message you. I prefer texting then. Yeah. Anyway, let's get in here and see what the doctors have got to say. Hopefully they can help me. Because I can't carry on like this. It's not fair. Especially now, it's... A, it, especially Tuesday, that was... That was, oh, the worst ever... Ever, ever. I don't know if anyone else is me complaining, but this is what my YouTube's are. not not that I come on here just to complain. It's just trying to show people how an illness can affect, affect someone. So on the outside, you're looking at me thinking, oh, there's not wrong with you. But if you see me in real life, you know what I mean? I'm like, Ugh. I've just got one of my crutches in the car as well and I, I get embarrassed even using them so I just go without and I'm like tripping over, falling over but I, if I need it, I need it and then try to find a parking spot and then I realise I've got a bloody disabled badge, I can just go around but uh, a taxi will park it so I have to wait for him to bugger off so I can uh, park, yeah. Anyway, let's see what this doctor has got to say and I'll catch up with you in a bit. I guess so. I'm back from the GPs. Excuse the stare. I'm absolutely exhausted. My hair's needing a wash. Uh, I'm going to have to go and get a shower. But, you know, I know people with fibro understand, you know, when you start leaving for a second, your clothes off, it's just tiring. 
and pick just thinking of the pain. Even just having to wash my hair. Usually I've got my chair, electric chair in my bath and my daughter does it for me, but they're all asleep. Olivia stayed out last night. Just been to the doctors. They can't give me any more pain relief than what I've got. Because he, he explained to me the reason why I can't up it. Because I thought it was something to do with the brain. Anyway, I can't even remember what he said. I can feel it kind of little bits here and there, but I'm trying to explain it to you guys, I'm just, I'm not even going to bother. I'll just jump it up and you'll just all tune off. Probably already have already. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just, so they give, he's given me some naproxene, I think that's how you call it, for the inflammation, seeing if that helps. Just a short course, because he said, so he looked at my notes, because they referred me to the pain clinic. I didn't realise it was back in 2022, January. I thought it was last January, because that's ridiculous. I said, I've not heard all. I said, so he's going to refer me back to the pain clinic. But I should have asked if they could do my blood and see if my iron levels down or is it my vitamin D? I said, I've never felt that so bad in all my life. I said, and then, and then he started talking about my mental health. I said, please, so. I said, it, well, I did. I did mention it in my notes, didn't I? I, went, I think I said it to you guys. I said, just who wants to live like this for the rest of their life because there's no way I want to be like this. I said, I'm already having to rely on other folk to help me. I said, this is what, and I got upset and I started crying as usual. And, I, and that's one thing I hate doing is getting upset in front of folk because my face goes bulky. The tears just come out. Especially when it, I'm super, super sensitive at the minute. So when I do start talking about something and it's bothering me, it I have no control. It just comes out. Is anyone else like that? Or can you control yourself? Because at the minute I can't. If someone, it, it's upsetting me. I don't know why I'm doing that. To hide these, I'm just super tired as well, and not sleeping very great. And when you can't get comfy, and then you're laid on a hip, that hurts. So you're laying over on top of the side. Oh, I can't lay there. Then you lay on your back, but you can't lay on your back because it hurts. And you lay on your belly. Oh, I can't. I used to be able to sleep on my belly, not anymore. I can't. I don't know if it's because of my fat belly. I don't know, but I just can't do it. So I can't get comfy. I'm trying everything that everyone's suggesting and I don't, I don't know, I'm just feeling sorry for myself right now. Sorry. <laughs> I definitely need to get a shower. I've got a fear of, um, you know, when the bath panel comes off your bath, and that's what it's, I can't even use that small toilet. I can't because, also because there's rat poison underneath the bath. And if the cat's getting there, I don't want them eating it. So I'm super scared. I don't know if it's a fear. I just don't like looking at pipes. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but I'm s I don't know. It's just, it's something looks weird and not right. I just, it freaks me out. I don't like going near it. And yeah, just the thought of climbing out of there and someone touching me. Or go, you know, when you were, you were a kid and you were scared to go to bed because you thought they were a monster under your bed. Um, that's what it kind of made me feel. I'm like, oh. I feel like there's something under there. There's something under there that's going to grab my legs and I get out of the bath. But yeah, all spiders. But yesterday when the, the plumber came, he fixed the back of the, um, You know the washing machine where you attach your pipes and then you've got a red bit and a blue t bit, pipe, uh, keys I think are called, whatever. It was that connection that were leaking, so it wasn't anything of my fault. It was actually the, the piping of the, uh, sorry, washing machine. Guys, I'm going to have to go because I, oh, I feel like I'm just, I'm just like that. I might go and have a nap and see if I feel any better when I wake up. And then maybe get a shower. Um, I might ask Tom just to put that board back, just sort of the anxiety of it just making me stress out here more. And I think she, um, when you're suffering with stress as well, I think that impacts your pain. So your pain heightens a little bit. So 
like me mental health and anxiety and my emotions are all lighting at the minute because I don't know what to do with myself. So I'm hoping to hit is refer me back to the pain clinic, so let's see what happens there. Physio is a no-go anymore because I don't know what happened. But they just give me some exercises to try and strengthen my muscles. I do try them. Sorry, I just got my power burn. Well, he's giving me some naproxen and he said, if it starts making your tummy upset, let us know. Well, I do suffer with a heartburn quite a lot and I am on Zoprazol well, on the morning. So I'm hoping, cross fingers, it's going to work. So I've got to wait for it. It's going to take care of so got to, I'm going to give it a little bit because I've got to pick up my other medication anyway. So hopefully if I give it a good couple of hours, cause if I go straight away from surgery, it's never there. So I'm going to give it a couple of hours and see if it, it's there when I go down and I'll let you know how it, if it helps. And I'm going to go and have a nap. So I'll catch up with you later, guys. Thanks again for watching. Also, before I go, does anyone with fibro have, does it affect your vision? Because my vision is a bit blurry at the minute. And now and again, my left eyeball goes, it's mainly my right one, but my vision goes a bit blurry and painful, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you suffer with it. Or is it just me? But anyway, if I just give you a watch, you don't forget that. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to this channel, and press the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Uploads. I can't speak. Sorry, my speech is really bad today, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye bye.